we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. Minnesota, Zeke Elliott, Dallas, Julio Jones, Atlanta, Matt Ryan, Atlanta, Dark Horse, Dak Prescott in Dallas, and you have to give the defense some love. What about Von Miller? Yeah, Von Miller too, but how about that? A couple guys from Atlanta, a couple from Dallas. Those offenses humming right now. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Surveying the field. He's going to loft one deep. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good. But when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now it's second and seven. Now to Blunt. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. Football's such a game of tendencies down and distance. And on third and inches, third and one, you're thinking, man, the fullback's probably going to get the ball. But when you get to third and two, most of the time that's either the running back or a pass play. So that's a nice tendency breaker by the offensive team there. Hand it to their big guy to pick up a first down. They come out here in the eye. Brady now on first down. Sets up the screen to Lewis. Evades the tackler and now some space. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Deion Lewis, 66 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here, he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Well, incomplete there, but Charles switching gears for a second, talking about quarterback play. We have seen a lot of good quarterback play so far this year, haven't we? We always talk about Drew Brees. That's almost old hat, but let's give him his respect. But how about some new names that are on this list? Matt Ryan has elevated his game to its highest level. Mm -hmm. How about what Sam Bradford has done in Minnesota? Did anyone really see that coming? <laughs> and the rookie, Dak Prescott, he deserves big-time mention for the start he's given Dallas. Here's Prescott. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Not only was that a three and out, it was their third straight incompletion on this drive. And they didn't even think about trying to run the football. Now they have to give it up. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. On first down, Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's brought down. 13 yards there on the pickup. And it'll give the Patriots a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They come out here in the eye. Brady's going to sneak it. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. Back now in Arlington, 
We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. It's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish, because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And Brady will sneak it. Well, I liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, he said, forget it. Let's just get a first down and start a new set. Now this time, Brady will throw. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. It's a gain of 21 that time. And that's good for a New England first down. They come out here in the eye. Here's Blow. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. pick up there and it'll bring up a third down. An eight play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. third down and he will find his man that's Hogan complete it's a nice pickup of 12 yards and it gives him a first and goal and defensively they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game not at all look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead clock on their side instead of running it they're still throwing it trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football and the seemingly endless drive continues and now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. the give this is their fullback and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal oh there's no doubt that this is a huge defensive series right here they've got to hold them to a field goal attempt or less otherwise this game just might be out of reach let's see if they can hunker down and get it done On second down, here's Brady. 
This will be caught just inside the 10. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said.